Hey everybody, welcome to Board Online, Board Offline. Today we have another instructional slash gameplay video. First half of this video, we're gonna be teaching you how to play My City, starting with obviously the opening chapter. There will be no spoilers other than a few of the things that you'll see in that opening chapter. Uh, it's just no real good way that I could find to teach it to you without at least showing you those initial components, but those are the components you're gonna see the moment you open the game, really. So keep that in mind, those minor spoilers are there, but we're gonna teach you how to play My City, and then we're gonna show you a gameplay of the third episode of the first chapter. So we're going to get down to that in just a minute. Before we do, I want to mention our sponsor, Board Game Co. This is a fantastic website where you can buy, sell, and trade games. Have a great selection to choose from if you're just looking to build out your collection, just trying to, you know, really kind of scoop all the different games in, get a little bit of everything from different genres, focus in on one genre, whatever it is you're trying to do, they can help you do it. They also will buy games from you. Instead of selling 10 games to 10 different people, shipping to 10 different places, sell them all to one place, ship them all to one place, Board Game Co. And then of course you can trade with them. If you have a Board Game Geek username and you've set up a trade list over there, you can then go to Board Game Co, drop your Board Game Geek username into Board Game Co. They will compare your trade list with their stock and build out a custom trade list right there on their website. Very, very easy to use. Click on the link in the description below so they know I sent you over there. Board Game Co makes it easy to buy, sell, and trade your way into a better collection. All right, let's get down to the table and we're gonna show you how to play My City and then show you a gameplay of My City. A few quick notes to keep in mind as we begin learning how to play My City. While not required, My City is best when played with the same group of players throughout the campaign. If players swap in and out, each new player will have to pick up where the previous one left off. Also, the game is broken up into a number of chapters and each chapter is broken up into episodes. After each episode, if the players decide not to continue to the next episode, they'll need to note where they've stopped so that they can easily continue next time. There are a total of 24 episodes in the game and each can be played individually in order. However, the game is also designed that three episodes combine to form a single chapter. Gameplay for a single chapter is around 90 minutes and it is recommended that players try to play the entire chapter in one sitting. Finally, no matter how curious the players may be, they should not open the sealed envelopes until they begin playing that particular episode. Before starting the first episode, players should sort all the die cut pieces according to the animal depicted on the back of those pieces. Each player then gets one game board and places it in front of themselves with the front side up, which has an animal in the upper left, and that'll match the animals of their pieces. This game board will be the player's personal game board for all 24 episodes. At the start, each game board is identical, but during the course of the game, they will be permanently changed. Players will be applying stickers, developing new play areas, and writing on the board. One of the very first things a player should do upon receiving their board is name their city by writing it in this space next to the animal symbol. Each player gets a scoring token and sets it on the number 10 on their board. This token will be used to track the player's points throughout the episode. Each player makes sure they have their 24 buildings showing their animal symbol on the back. Each player's set of buildings are identical to the other players. Players place their buildings face up next to their game board. The yellow buildings are residential, the red buildings are public, and the blue buildings are industrial. Finally, the player shuffles the 24 construction cards and places them in a single deck face down in the middle of the table. For each building the players have, there is a corresponding construction card. During each episode, players will construct their buildings in the sequence shown on the cards as they're revealed. There are a few rules that apply to all 24 episodes, almost without exception. Each episode consists of a number of rounds. In each round, the player will turn over the next construction card, placing it face up in a discard pile. Each player will then simultaneously take the matching building and place it on their game board. It's important players do this simultaneously without delay. Players are not allowed to wait to see what other players are going to do. At the end of each episode, players get points for their buildings, which they will keep track of on their scoring track. 
Whoever then gets the most points or the second most points is allowed to color in two or one progress symbols, respectively, which are these circles. The player who colors the most progress symbols after 24 episodes is the overall winner of my city. Now let's talk about the construction rules. Buildings may only be built on light green spaces on the board. They may not be built on the mountains or in the forest. Light green spaces with rocks or trees may be built upon. However, it is best to avoid building on light green spaces with trees if possible, as trees will provide points at the end of the episode as visible trees will earn the player points at the end of each episode. On the other hand, spaces with rocks should be built upon, as they will deduct points if they are visible at the end of the episode. A building may not be placed on a river in such a way that it lies on both sides of it. However, the player is allowed to place a building so that it is along the river, even if that means the river becomes partly covered because of the way the artwork is, as you see here. Also, the first building the player places on the game board must be placed alongside the river. Having just the corner touch the river, as you see here, does not count. It must be alongside it like this. All other buildings must be positioned in such a way that they have at least one side touching another building. Once again, having just the corner touching does not qualify. Buildings do count as bordering each other if the river is between them. Buildings may never be placed on top of another building. Once a building is placed, it cannot be moved. If a player cannot or does not want to construct the current building, they are allowed to pass. They announce this out loud and place the current building face down in front of themselves. They must then move the scoring token one step back. If the player's scoring token is already on zero, the player is not allowed to pass. If they cannot construct a building or don't want to construct a building in that case, then they must end their participation in the current episode. Players also may voluntarily end their participation in the episode. After turning over the current construction card, each player is allowed to decide whether to end their participation. If they do decide to end their participation, they announce this out loud and turn all other unconstructed buildings face down. When a player ends their participation in the episode, they do not lose points on the scoring track. A player only ever loses points for passing and then staying in the episode. An episode comes to an end when all players have either ended their participation in it or after all construction cards have been resolved. Whichever comes first. Once the episode ends, each player's points are calculated and marked on the scoring track. For each tree shown on a light green space on the game board, the player gets one point. In this case, we have two, four, six, eight. So eight additional points. For each rock shown on a light green space on the game board, the player loses one point. In this case, they're all covered up. We have none showing, so we lose no points. For each empty light green space visible on the game board, the player loses one point. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Ouch! Straight down to zero. It should be noted at the beginning of the game, there are only spaces with two trees or two rocks, which yield plus or minus two points each. As the game continues, spaces with one tree will be added, as you saw with these stickers. If a scoring symbol token ever does reach 50, the player is immediately allowed to color in one progress symbol. The scoring track remains standing at 50, even if more points are added or subtracted. Essentially, the player's score is locked at 50. On the other hand, if a scoring token happens to drop under zero, as you saw just a moment ago, these negative points would be deducted from the next positive points earned. After the points have been calculated, the episode is assessed. The winners are allowed to color in additional progress symbols on their board. If playing with three or four players, the player with the most points will color two progress symbols, and the second place player will color one progress symbol. On the other hand, if playing with only two players, the player with the most points will color in two progress symbols and the second player will get nothing. 
Anytime two or more players have attained the same total points at the end of an episode, the player who has the fewest empty light green spaces in the top row of their board is given top placement. If they are still tied at that point, then they'll check the second row and continue until they find a winner. Progress symbols should always be colored the top row first from left to right and then the bottom row. This makes it easy for all players to see exactly where they stand. Next, regardless of the player's placement in the game, first, second, third, or fourth, the players will get various stickers which are applied permanently to their game boards. For instance, in episode one of chapter one, the player with the most points is allowed to color in two progress symbols and then has to apply one sticker with two rocks to his or her game board. While the player with the second most points is allowed to color in one progress symbol and doesn't have to apply a sticker at all. And then in a three or four person game, the other players do not fill in any progress symbol and they have to apply a sticker showing one tree. These stickers are found in the sealed envelopes along with other game materials. Inside the envelope, players will also find an overview table showing what each player gets. At the end of the episode, the game board is completely cleared off other than whatever stickers were applied, of course, and the scoring token is placed on 10 again. In the next episode, all players start rebuilding their city as described in the sealed envelope rule sheet. The eight sealed envelopes are a special feature of my city. Inside each envelope, the players will find a rule sheet containing a few new rules, as you've previously seen. This rule sheet applies to all three episodes within that envelope. Also, the players find this overview table, which summarizes on the left side how many points may be won or lost, and summarizes on the right side what players earn at the end of the episode. Also, the players will find an overview table, which summarizes on the left side how points may be won or lost during the game. Some of the points apply immediately during an episode. Most apply, though, at the end of an episode. On the right side of the overview table, the player will see the assessment for the relevant episode. This indicates which player is allowed to color in progress symbols at the end of the episode as described, and also indicates which players get which stickers. Some of the stickers are allocated at the beginning of an episode, but most of the time they are signed at the end. When applying stickers at the end of the episode, the player will first clear away all buildings from the game board, so the stickers are not bound by how the player built the city. And then, unless otherwise indicated, the player must affix the stickers to empty light green spaces that show a small square in the center, as you see here. In some envelopes, in addition to stickers, players will find other materials that will be used in the game. At this point, I've taught you everything you need to know to begin my city, so let's discuss real quick how to actually begin Chapter 1. First, open Chapter 1, The New Land, and remove all of its contents. Display the overview table so all players can easily see it and keep the sheet of stickers easily available as well. Any stickers or other materials the player has not used at the end of an episode will always be kept in the box. Carefully read the rules for episode one. And if players would like, they can go ahead and read episode two and three as well to see what's coming up. And then place this rule sheet in the rule book. At that point, players are ready to begin. Um, all right, so let's see. So number episode three is going to be all the rules from episode one and two apply. At the start of this episode, each player gets a well sticker. All right. At the start of the episode, each player affixes his or her well sticker to any light green space splitting a small square. However, you are not allowed to affix it to a space bordering the river. All right. You get four additional points if you manage to place four buildings adjacent to the well. The color of the buildings is irrelevant. Um, okay, so yeah, uh, basically anywhere, any light green space with a small square that's not adjacent to the river. Not adjacent to the river. Why should we get okay. nasty water in your well? That's uh, it's a very good, a valid point. We should all consider it. Uh, it does say just like rocks or trees, wells can be built upon, but of course you don't get the extra points at that point. Enough. Hate, hate putting stickers on things. Yeah, I know. Especially like games like this, it just yeah, I mean, it feels wrong. <laughs> oh man, we need to get a we need to get a hold of like a real like uh, like Pandemic Legacy or something God. where you're not only sticking stuff on there, but you're actually ripping cards up and everything. I hate it. All right. 
All right, so it goes on to say, at the end of episode three, the players who do not have the most or second most points will get a second well sticker. Uh, okay, so third place, we'll get a second well sticker. Mm. Uh, just as with your first well, we'll fix it basically the same way. Um, wells are not building, so there's no reason to place a second well next to your first one. In fact, that would probably mess you up. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. So here we go. Did you start your timer? Oh, right. Uh, it's on the phone. It's not I, not I sure. can't do it whenever I'm filming. Oh, are you good? Yeah, I'm good. Oh. Sorry. I was looking. I was thinking ahead. All right. No red buildings yet. No, this is very odd. Yes, I'm trying to save I'm space for them, but it's hard. I'm not enjoying it. There hey. You go.
this one. No, certainly not, however. Sorry. No, you're good. You're good. You can always pass it too if you want. Yeah, I know. I don't really want to. It's my very noisy ice maker. Uh. see one building of mine that I can't even place. Yeah, I'm about to have to start. This is because I have a plan on what I want to do. So that's not good. That's not good. Pass that one. There's only one more building I can place, and I don't want to take four points to place one building. Yeah, I'm about, I might. So, uh, so that's, this one I can't do. This one I could do. This one. So this one I can. This one I can. Oh, no. And that one I can. That one I can. I'm ending as well. So oh every building I can place. <laughs> no. This is going to be real bad. I ended as well. All right. You're ending? Yep. No. No? No, every other building I can place. Oh, so you're good. Okay. All right. That was turn, that was the, but it was the only the one I could have done. Yeah, that was the one okay. I could have done too. It's mistakes were made here, y'all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Went for that well bonus. Okay. Yeah, I think I went after that too hard. Dose pet's the only one. Did it? I don't think I overcommitted oh, to it. Dose pet's gonna. I did not. Demolish us on this one. Not even close, bro. What's All right. Look how many rocks I have. Well, that's true. All right, trees first. All right, so yeah, trees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I got five. That puts me up to 14. That's where I'm at now. Then subtract rocks. I'm going to lose four One, two, points. Three, four, five, six. Um, empty light green spaces. What is zero? Minus 21. Minus 21? Yeah, so, well, I'm mean, sorry, I lost 21, so I'm at minus 11. Okay. Uh, are, you, are you at zero? I'm at zero. I'm at minus two. Okay, so now the buildings. So, so all of my blue ones are together. So that's eight, that's eight points. All of my yellow ones are together. Okay. So, so that's 16. 16, right? So there's yeah. 14. Plus one, two, three, four. Is eighteen. I am at positive four. And then the well oh, is the well. how many points? Four three. points for the well. But it's only three for me because I've 
No, you don't get any points, I don't think. Oh, really? oh no, no, you, yeah, you have to have four buildings. Four buildings. I got you. I'm not sure if it's four buildings, not, yeah. Yeah, four buildings. Four buildings next to Okay. Me. So you don't get any points, but I get four, so it puts me at eight. All right, 21. Woo! All right, so 21, what'd you have? 18. 18. All right, so Anderson, you're going to get um, two, uh, two prosperity. Or progress, I think is what it's called, and then a sticker with two rocks on it. Two rocks. Yeah. Baloney. It doesn't even have a first name. And then you get one progress, and then I get a well. All right. So you got stickers now. Look at you. Oops. Sorry. Oh, you good? You good? I think my problem there was I focused too much on keeping colors together than trying to get that well. I got three buildings around it, but not four. Well, you got a whole lot of points from having multiple buildings together, though. Yeah, yeah I got 19 points from that. I think I got like 13 or 14 points from that. So really, my four points from the well really wasn't that. Right. See, all right, so end of chapter one. The first chapter ends after episode three. You have arrived in the new land and built your city. Each of you now has a different game board in front of you, and the number of drawn in progress symbols will probably also vary from player to player. I have two, you have three, you have four. Um, are you ready to continue playing? Then open the envelope for chapter two the churches, episode four to six, and carefully separate the die cut pieces from the frame. So there you go, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this how to play gameplay combination video, let me know, leave a comment in the section below, in the comment section below. I've uh, just started doing this. Uh, normally I split those up, but for games that are not super lengthy, I'm trying to do this combination thing a little bit more. So hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, please leave a comment, click on the like button, click on the bell, subscribe, all that good stuff. And until next time, if you're bored online, bored offline.